up for sale in that vehicle. Max, we have a beautiful 2013 Chevy Volt, silver on the outside with black interior, with only 28,000 miles. It is still under the balance of a three-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty until December of this year. It also follows by a uh, five-year, 60,000-mile balance of a powertrain warranty until December of 2017, and a battery warranty until December of 2020. Car has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page, there's a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Okay, we're going to finish going around the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and get inside of it, show you interior options. <clears throat> this vehicle has one of those intelligent type keys that you put in your pocket and you never really have to take it out. And let me show you how that goes. We're going to lock up the vehicle here. It does have the flip out key but you're never really gonna use this because it's push button start. So I'm gonna put it in my pocket. When you approach the vehicle, all four door handles have a little rectangular chrome button. You press it one time for that particular door and quickly thereafter for all three of the doors. So one, and now all four doors are open. <coughs> this is a four seater, buckets in the front and another set of buckets in the rear with cup holder, center console, storage, and cigarette lighter adapter, okay? The front door panels are black with a beautiful silver accent just like the exterior of the car. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel, power mirrors. This is the release gate for your uh, charging station. Let me show you how that works. You press here. You're going to see this door open up here, okay? And that is your charging, um, your station there. That's where you put in your charger. Sorry about that. Okay. And then when you're not using it, you just close it up. The charger is in the trunk. I'll show you that later. All right. Um, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there are no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke. So it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. You got the uh, curtain side airbags as well as seat side airbags. All right, let me go ahead and get inside of it now. You do have a manual tilt wheel here, so you can adjust the steering column to wherever you want. It does have also automatic headlights that come on at sunset and come off at sunrise. Okay, so now when you get inside the vehicle, all you got to do is step on the brake and hit this push button start right here. And now your car is on. Okay. Um, if you're not familiar with the Volt, let me give you an idea how it works. We have actually, I actually drove this car for a couple of months, so I'm a very familiar with how it works. Let's start off by putting up the AC a little cooler because it's nice and hot outside. Oh, where's the fan button? Okay, here it is. All right. All right, now, right now we're working on full battery power. Uh, the battery is not fully charged, but when it does get fully charged, right now it's about halfway. Uh, fully charged, it goes to about anywhere from 40 to 46 miles. The average is probably 42 to 44 mile range. This is not your usual hybrid. This particular hybrid, um, it works 100% on the battery until the battery runs out then it starts working on the uh, four cylinder I think it's a 2.7 but it's in our website there uh, which is very economic you get 37 miles per gallon um, but the cool thing is when I use this vehicle and my wife actually drove it for a little while too uh, you we never really used the gas the gas is like most of the time it was there we never it never changed because we, our commute is about 10 or 12 miles to the to work and to our office and uh, we would uh, 
use up about half the tank and we get home and we just plug it in and overnight it would be full and the same thing for the next day and so on so we never really had to use gas power rarely uh, unless we went a long distance okay 28,658 miles so conceivably if uh, for your normal activities going to work going to the office uh, pick up the kids at school go to the grocery store karate classes baseball practice any other stuff it, which is mostly usually right around the corner you never really have to tap in on the gas so you're not going to visit the gas station very often at all but the cool thing with this vehicle is if you decide hey I want to go to Orlando uh, I want to take the kids to Disney World or I want to go to the Keys the Florida Keys or I want to go anywhere I want to go to Alaska you can do it in this car you just you're, you're going to run out of your battery power pretty quick and uh, you're gonna be using gas the rest of the way but for the every uh, everyday normal commute you never you really almost don't have to use gas unless you commute a very far uh, ways anyway <clears throat> all right um let's lower the fan it's freaking cold in here okay so um all right so uh, you got an automatic transmission that's pretty obvious reverse neutral and drive just like any other car all right um, this is your electronic parking brake. You pull it to engage, and to disengage, you step on the brake and you push it, okay? Your power door locks are here, and all your stereo controls are right in here. You got different driving modes. Um, I can, right now we have it on uh, normal. Let me press that again, normal, sport, mountain, and I don't know what the heck hold means. Yeah, I wouldn't lie to you. Um, so, we're gonna leave it on normal. All right, but by the way, when you put this on sport and you step on it, this this sucker goes, man. It really, really, really moves. Um, on, on on normal power, it's got just power like a regular car. It's not um it's not blazing fast, but it's got enough speed. You never get you hit the guy, you hit the the pedal, and this thing moves. Uh, but on the sport mode, it's really, really quick. Okay, this is uh this portion here. This is your um uh, shows you the battery power and uh, whether it's charging or not, the energy information. You also have on the upper right hand corner the outside temperature and current time. It also shows you how long it would take to uh, charge the uh, vehicle to a full charge, okay? And uh, the energy information uh, as far as climate setting and driving style and so forth. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and put a little music here. The stereo is not on, let's turn it on. You can raise or lower the volume right here. Lower it here. Mute it up here, down here, as you say. Okay, once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth, you can answer the phone here and hang up over here. Um, the source, when you press this in, right now we are on FM, as you can see. I'm going to press it in. It takes us to XM, okay? And um, it just muted the radio. It takes us to XM and does have cap XM capability, although right now it's on preview mode because you have to sign up for a subscription by going to the website or calling that number. Back to AM and then back to FM where we were before, okay? All right, so that is your source button. That is pushing in. Now, if I tap it down or tap it up, it's going to move about your preset stations down here. Those are the ones that you uh, that you can change, uh, that, you, that you pick, that are your favorite stations. And, of course, those can be changed. They're not permanent, you know, just like anything else. All right, um, <clears throat> it also saves your... Uh, your favorites and stuff like that, everything up there. You do have, um, uh, you, can, you can control the stereo right here too. You can control the volume here and the tuning here. Not You don't have to do it from a steering wheel, but you can. Now, if you're not on the phone um, uh, and you hold down this button here, that's going to access your voice commands, all right? On the left-hand side of your screen, this is your uh, screen of your steering wheel is your uh, cruise control. The uh, two front windows are automatic, meaning one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down or uh, for that matter. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Um, when the vehicle is moving, that little round ball on the right hand side there, as you accelerate or decelerate, this is where you ideally want that ball right in the middle, which is your highest economy. When you step on it in Florida, the ball is going to move up and show you more consumption. When you're braking or going down the hill, the vehicle uh, creates energy from the braking and from going downhill. As long as you, you if you, you know, if your gas is off the, if your pedal, if your foot is off the gas pedal. Um, It'll, it'll create energy from going downhill or braking. So uh, that's, that ball there is going to show you your fuel consumption. Uh, not fuel consumption, energy consumption, I should say, because this vehicle has uh, it's a, like half electric and half gas. All right, uh, let's see here. All right, um, so you got storage down here, okay? 
cup holders here in the center. And the uh, center console here where you rest your elbow, you got a storage. You got a, a cigarette lighter adapter here and a USB port over here as well. It's a little hard to see because it's kind of dark in here. Let me see if I put the camera here, you can see it better. But anyway, right there you got a USB port and an iPod port and a cigarette lighter adapter. All right. Um, get your hazards over here. All right. And then there is the owner's manual. And you, that's your main glove box over there. All right. Uh, up in the top here, you got a set of map lights and dome lights. Okay. Uh, this here is uh, your uh, traction control. This is to disable it. Uh, these three buttons here, this is your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. By the way, I showed you that you have curtain side airbags, but they're pretty much on every post, the front post and the middle post, and that one goes all the way out to the back. All right, um, this vehicle is also equipped with the OnStar system. If you purchase this vehicle from us, you will get a 90-day free trial with a OnStar at no cost to you. And let me tell you what OnStar does for you. For example, if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you to the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond with a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, which in this vehicle is nearly impossible because the keys, as I said, are in my pocket. They never really have to come out. But let's say somehow it happened. They provide you with a 24-hour number. You call that number, identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. If you have any kind of emergency, press the red button. The on center will come on and assist you with that emergency. If you're lost in any directions, press the blue button. The OnStar Center will come on and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. Also, if your check engine light comes on, press the blue button. The OnStar Center will come on, diagnose the vehicle remotely, tell you what's wrong with it, and how to proceed to take care of it. They also have roadside assistance and concierge service. For more details, visit OnStar.com. And don't forget to mention our dealership for your 90-day free trial. Uh, everything that you're seeing here, by the way, this is uh, all touch screen. You can change the source right here, just like I did before. Uh, I could go to uh, AM, uh, FM, XM, and so on. Um, you got uh, little pockets for storage up in the top here with another cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers. Let's go ahead and pan over the dashboard now so you can see it's in perfect shape without any cuts, tears, burn holes, cracks. Really, really nice condition. The car, the car, these cars run really, really great. It's surprising how good a ride it is, and it's really kind of neat to be able not to have to put fuel uh, for weeks at a time. So essentially, if you just go back and forth to work, to the school, to the um, uh, karate classes, baseball class, uh, baseball uh, practice, whatever, uh, if you stay within your area, you have a 40 uh, a mile range. So um, and and you don't have to worry about you running out of range because you still got the motor to come on after that. Uh, okay, um, we're pretty much done up in the front here. <clears throat> so now to turn off the vehicle, very simple. Uh, you come over here. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you on the climate. You do have a, uh, a climate right now. It's, uh, you could change the power here uh, and make it um, a, a lower uh, up here. You see where it says fan only, eco, or comfort. Comfort gives you the highest possible, okay? And it consumes more energy. The eco, which is where I usually have it, uh, it consumes less energy as you can see down there okay uh, but uh, what you do is if it's really hot you can put it in comfort after uh, five minutes or so you can put it on eco and you'll save uh, energy all right so now to turn off the vehicle simply come over here and press and you're done okay and you don't have to step on the brake to do that all right so now let's go to the uh, rear row section and the cargo area All right, left rear door panel, same way, all charcoal black, uh, like I showed you before. Uh, you, by the way, you have over the shoulder belts for uh, both of your uh, rear row passengers. And these little buttons here, these are here to indicate to you that you have anchors in here for your baby car seat. So if you want to put your baby car seat, you can put it on this side or on that side over there. And you got storage here in the center, another cigarette light adapter, and cup holders. And you get access here through the through the um, cargo area back there. You also have a set of uh, uh, dome lights there, and you got um, handles there to help you get in and out on both sides, of course. 
The rear glass has the little orange lines, which is your rear window defroster. Okay. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. The emblem's got plenty of color left on it. It's not fade or anything like that. You got, of course, uh, aluminum alloy wheels or tire with uh, tire pressure monitoring sensors. Now, to open up the hatchback here, as long as the vehicle's unlocked or you have the key nearby you, you just press here. There's a little switch in here. That's going to open up your trunk. Uh, and this is your cargo area. This is like a little privacy net, which you can remove here. It just anchors up on these corners here, okay? And uh, those seats, um, I believe you can fold those seats down to go into cargo mode. Let's make sure. Yeah, you can fold these down to go into cargo mode like that. Let me move this here so you can see it. Okay. And they, cut, they lay down almost completely flat. All right, so now uh, we're pretty much done back here, so let's close this here. And let's come around to the passenger side. So now when you're done, um, uh, you know, uh, whatever you want, you had to carry, you had to go into cargo mode, you just simply push this back here. And uh, you see this is, gonna be, is in red right now, and as soon as it clicks on, the red goes away, hides down, it's, it's to let you know that, you're, that the seat is perfectly engaged, and it's not going to go anywhere, okay? All right, let's come around to the passenger front. Again, battery warranty until 2020, December, okay? So a ton of time and the powertrain until 2017, December. So you got two years left on the powertrain, six months on the bumper to bumper, and the vehicle is running in perfect shape. Like I said, we put up, I think we put about 2,000 miles in this car. We drove me and my wife and now we've had it for a little bit so we're going to move it and uh, we change cars like every t month or two and uh, we really really love this car uh, she's uh, she's currently driving another one now so she does now she doesn't want to get off these uh, chevy bolts but anyway i don't want to bore you um but i want to talk to you about financing really brief uh, uh briefly before we uh, end the video if you require financing let me tell you we have excellent rates for good credit we also have special financing for not such good credit we even got some programs for really rough credit if you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the homepage at the top, you'll see a tab that says Apply for Credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click Submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.